Pretty little black skin girl. Oh, yeah. Pretty little light skin girl, yeah. The way you a wine girl, make me a fist stop everything. Me want on you in a wifey. Pretty little diamond ring. Oh, Caribbean beauty, Caribbean cutie. Move on like in my house and put you on duty. So what's up you guys this video is a story time so i'll just be doing my makeup while i'm telling you guys the story it's basically about the time that me my dumbass, decided to throw a party at my apartment so but yeah i'm about to start my makeup while i'm telling you guys what happened so it was basically it was probably like three years ago i was still in um in the army well i'm still in the army now but i'm just like not active duty anymore um to moisturize my face because my shit's so dry so basically i was going through a breakup and i was telling my friends like hey i'm about to throw a party because i'm so stressed out like about work and everything else y'all need to make flyers for me i need a dj i need this i need that everybody was just like okay cool i i changed my mind like Probably like two days after, right? But then I ended up passing my PT test. Then I was like, you know what? This is a celebration time. I'm about to throw, I'm about to turn up. I cannot fucking take it anymore. I'm about to turn up. So basically, um, I got a flyer made, right? And I'm about to show you guys what the flyer looked like. I, I swear I still got everything. I think I still got clips from the fucking party. But... But yeah, let me start doing my fucking makeup, bro. So I got my flyers made or whatever. Then I'll get, I'll get everybody to start promoting it for me and shit like that. I hate this fucking... Bro, I do not like this foundation at all. I had to like wash my face again because I was not... Bro, I don't care how... Oh, the flyers got made. I started promoting them. I got people to promote them. I got my DJ and I got sec even security girl. So I got security or whatever. Um, everything was supposed to be fine, right? And I told my friends, I was like, okay, so if I go down, you take over. I told that to one person, which was her name. I think it, her name is Lauren forever lauren on here she also has a youtube channel so go subscribe to her shit and like her shit and watch her shit before the party even started me and my friend was decorating the place we took like the couch out the li living room put it in a, this empty room that i had because i had two bedrooms so i put everything in there so the big living room and the kitchen was just like for party I started taking shots before the party even started, okay? While I'm decorating, I'm throwing shots back. Knowing myself, because I'm the type to, like, get drunk and just be like, oh, I'm not drunk. I don't think I'm drunk until it's like, I can't get up anymore. I can't get up. I can't wake up. Um, It's party day. My DJ come. Beaker's coming through. Um, I think I had chips and I had bottles. I had, like, mostly bottles. They were, like, waiting and shit. Right, so like everything was going great. Everything was going great. People started coming in. Probably like it was. It looked what it was literally dead. I just started thinking about like even going to like the fucking club myself because I'm just like I'm throwing a party and this shit's fucking dead as fuck. Y'all got me fucked up. So I'm about to go to the fucking club on y'all motherfuckers. I was so fucking drunk, but then people started coming in more and more and more and i i think i saw about 10 fucking people i danced around with some and after that i don't know what the fuck happened i don't really remember anything i just remember laying down on the floor sometimes and then somebody took me to my room but then as the party was going on i don't know if it was after two hours or 30 minutes my friend lauren comes in the room like Cam you need to wake up Cam you need to wake up they're fighting they're fighting oh, is fighting why the fuck I could 
could hear her because she was shaking me. I could hear her, but my body was not fucking moving. I, I couldn't get up. I couldn't do shit. Like, I was just, like, on the bed, just, like, done. My eyes were closed. I don't know what, like, in my head, I was trying to tell her, like, you got to take care of this. But I can't get up. Like, you got to take care of this. Because I told you, if I was down, you got to take over. Right? Bro. It was just fucking horrible. Okay? Because... The party didn't get fucking shut down like I thought it was going to be. Oh, 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 this game is this game is this game. Hey, we live as fuck out here. Instead of that, Lauren was outside fucking recording shit. Like, it was just a fucking mess. <laughs> So the next morning I wake up, one, my phone was gone. They stole my shit. They stole my phone. My house was fucked up. The glass window, I heard my DJ broke it because I, my DJ actually started the fight I, I heard. Security was nowhere to be found. Security left to go to a club and then come back with some girl. I don't know what happened, but hey, I was knocked out, but it was my fault though. So I was just like... I go to the living room, everybody was just sleeping on, in the living room on the floor and shit. I'm asking them, okay, so how was the party last night? Because I was fucked up, like I couldn't get up. How was it? Everybody's like, oh, it was good. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, cool. So they just stole my phone. My window, um, well, my door, my back door had like a glass. That shit was broken. And I'm just like, who did this? They're like, oh, the DJ started the fight and shit like that. I'm like, why was he fighting? Like, I was just confused. Like, you're supposed to be my DJ. Why the fuck are you fighting? Like, nobody knew what, why, or how it happened. But he started it from what I've heard. I'm going to try this guy. So. It's like, it looks really dark. It's the Giorgio Armani. Um luminous silk foundation it's the color 11.5 so i don't know i've never tried this um my sister gave it to me what i was saying is okay i don't know why he started the fight or anything like that all i know is he started some bullshit and broke my fucking window. So I hit him up. I'm like, you need to pay me. I mean, you need to give me the money to fix the back window and stuff like that. And mind you, around that time, my um my ex at the time was like in California and we lived together. Cause you know, he was my baby. He was my boo. I mean, I'm back with them now. Just for you guys that fucking want to know. But. But. um. So when I call him up. He's just like oh they started with me. And all these things. I'm just like I don't care. My phone is lost. Like you started a fight. You broke my shit. So you're going to have to fucking pay me. Then he said okay cool. He's going to come and stuff like that. So I had the party on a Friday. Everybody was telling me everything was good, right? No cops came and little did I know. So Monday comes, you know, the leasing office is closed on the weekends. I go to work in the morning. Like I had to be there at like what? Early as fuck, like at 0630 to go do PT and stuff like that. Um, then I walk in, everything was normal and shit like that. But everybody was just looking at me weird like. Why are y'all looking at me? You feel me? I'm just looking at them like, why y'all keep looking at me? I know I had a party on Friday. Like, everybody's cool. You feel me? So, I go home. I think for lunch. I go home and there's a whole fucking paper on my door. A notice on my door saying, like, I had 72 hours to get out. 
So I'm like, what? what? For what? You know, like I'm confused as fuck because everybody told me everything was good. So I don't know if, well, how I got in trouble. It was just basically telling me they're going to evict me if I don't get out. So that's when I'm just like, what? So I got a call like around the same time I'm pulling up from the leasing office telling me like basically they're not going to have what ha I did um, on Friday anymore. So get out. I had people in danger. So I'm just like, what? How? I just had a party. Like, everything was fine. So at that point, I'm, like, confused. So I'm just like, what What happened? Like, so they basically told me that cops came to my house um, because the, the noise was so loud. Some people from the party was trying to fight my neighbors and stuff like that. I'm just like, what? The, um, people were smoking weed. It was loud. And also... They found a gun in the bush by the playground, which is right by my house. So they automatically thought it was me, which was kind of messed up. Because like, how do you know it was for my my party? Like, what if it was? So I'm like talking to them. I was just like, is it really necessary? Is there anything that I can do that I can just stay? Because where was I going to go? Because I already paid my my um rent. I never missed any rent. You feel me? So why did I have to basically leave so quick? Like, why didn't y'all give me one more chance? You feel me? And it was like, they weren't having it. They weren't trying to talk to me. They were just like, you got to go, like, right now type shit. So I was just like, okay, you know what? Fuck you guys. So if they were telling me if I don't leave, they're going to make sure that I never rent again. Because they're going to put it on my records and stuff like that. So I'm just like, dang, you're that petty. You were just my friend not too fucking long ago talking about this and that to me. Every time I come in the office to pay my, my, my rent and stuff like that, you were just cool with me. But now you're just being a bitch. But it was cool. It was what it is. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I'm just doing this shit. Um, they were trying to kick me out and stuff. They were like, I put people in danger. Um, that's a federal charge, what I did and stuff like that because they find the gun. But the gun wasn't even in my name. And, like, it was just a bunch of shit. So I go to my unit and I'm just, like, telling my my first sergeant, like, what happened. And then he was just like, bro, you know, you could go to jail for that shit because, first of all, you had minors in your house. And the person that, um, the, the gun... It was found in a playground, but lucky thing, it wasn't in your fucking name and shit like that. So I was just like, yeah, or whatever. This shit is running the fuck out. I need to buy a new one. But that's basically what happened. And I was just like, okay, so what do I do? So he told me to go to JAG. JAG is basically like where you find... It's like legal shit. Like, they take care of your shit for, like, free, I guess. And they're like lawyers and shit. So when I get to Jack, Jack told me not to get out because they can't really, like, kick me out um, that fast. They got to give me, you know, time to find a new apartment because I just got done fucking paying my um, my rent for the month. They didn't even want to let me stay for at least that month, the rest of the month, so I could find my own place. So I'm, I was just, like, over it. Like, I had to get a new phone. I had to get all this dumb shit because I made a stupid decision to like have a party and then getting drunk as fuck where t to the point where I couldn't even like I couldn't take care of my what I had to take care of but I got like in trouble I mean I didn't really get in trouble this one girl was trying to get me in trouble how this girl was saying telling people I went to the party. There was weed around. First of all, you're not supposed to be smoking in the army. So why was I around weed? So that's one reason why she was trying to like fuck around with me. Th another one was just like she was saying, oh, yeah, I came. I never saw her. There was guys going in and out her room and all these things. Like what? Doing what? So what are you just suggesting? So all my sergeants already knew who I was like. They knew that I wasn't like her because she was the one that was doing that shit, but trying to put me in this fucking mix. And I'm just like, first of all, I was going through a fucking breakup. I was drunk as fuck. I was just in my fucking room, knocked the fuck out, throwing up. Nobody really wanted to tell me what she was saying. 
because they already knew like I was gonna smack like so the day that I, they finally told me like this is what she been saying and all my sergeants told me and I'm just like are you serious so I got one of my sergeants to sit between me and her because that's the day that I was gonna get kicked out the fucking army because I was gonna smack the fuck out of her ass because first of all you don't fucking lie on me because you're fucking everybody's fucking husbands baby um anyway I didn't get no chance bro like I had none whatsoever and I was making just like a dumb mistake and shit like that and um so basically I just stayed until I could find a new apartment and I tried and then they try to put it on my record and try to like basically make a whole mess on my record so I couldn't um I could my credit would be messed up so I would never be able to rent they're just like so petty so I'm just like y'all some bitches so it was just like really like around that time I was going through it and then I had to call my um my uh my dude at that time we got kicked out <laughs> so that that shit right there was so fucking hard and I was just like I know it's gonna be like why, why the fuck would you do that type of shit so I was ready. So when I call him, I'm like, hey, um, I threw a party and we got kicked out. So, yeah. It was just like, why would you do that? Like, you're stupid. I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm just going to be quiet because that was some dumb shit that I did. But that fucking party was lit. Everybody was talking about it. I didn't really get, like, in big trouble. I just basically got yelled at by my sergeants. Well, I didn't really even get yelled at. It was just basically the fact that I knew better and what was I fucking doing. But when you were you were hurt, you do any fucking thing. When I moved to my um other apartment, probably like two months after this um this fucking what's his name? That's for another story time. I should tell y'all, but at the same time, I like I don't know if I'm gonna tell y'all. But since the video's still not done, I'm just gonna tell y'all. Two months after I moved in my fucking apartment, um, my new apartment, my me and my friends went out or whatever. So the next day we woke up, we were fucked up. They were still at my house and I was throwing up fucking water. So they were fucking scared that I was probably gonna like pass out or something. So they decided to like take me to go eat. But before I got out the apartment complex, they had to pull over so I could throw up right in front of the fucking leasing office. So while, while I'm eating, I get a call from the lady at the leasing office. I'm like, why the fuck? Why are they calling me? They want me to come clean up the, the fucking throw up or some shit. So I get the call and they're like, um, Kimberly? I'm like, yeah. And the lady was just like, are you home by any chance? And I'm just like, no. Why? She was just like, oh, there has been an incident. So I'm just like, wait, what? What did you say? She's like, um, your neighbor shot through your apartment and the glass, um, the balcony window got sh I mean, shattered. We'll, we'll fix it by the time you get home and stuff like that. I'm just like, what do you mean it shot through my apartment? He was just like, yeah, he was cleaning his gun and had like a little discharge. No, first of all, he's a fucking, um, he was special force. Like, you didn't know your shit was fucking loaded? How? I didn't believe that shit. I, I really thought that nigga was trying to fucking kill me, okay? I'm just like, wait, how? How, when did this happen? They were just like, not too long ago and shit like that. So I'm just like... How do you let your gun really go off? You just cleaning it and shit like that. So I'm like, I got to go home. So I'm like rushing to eat and shit like that. I'm like, I got to go home and see why did he like try to like shoot me and shit. Why was he trying to kill me? Like, I know he's out for, to fucking kill me. Like, I'm just, I started tweaking. Like, I'm like, so I go to the house, the back, um, if I was doing dishes, bro, or if any of us was doing dishes or sitting by the balcony, and if we didn't go out, bro, one of us would have been shot. And it was just crazy, like, how, how? 
So we rushed to go to the fucking apartment again or whatever. We rushed, we went to the apartment. When we got there, the shit was like, the bullet, like you could see the hole, right? They didn't fucking fix it yet. You could see the hole that came out from the sink by the um, faucet and go out the fucking balcony. And it was just like, bro, how do you do this? And the sergeant that lived across from my apartment was just like, bro, he thought you were dead. Like, he thought you were dead because I heard loud ass fucking knocking on your door. So I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? So I walk out my fucking door and shit and I see dude like fucking knocking on your door hard as fuck, like crying and shit. I'm just like, what? He was like, yeah. Then after that, he said he think he killed you. Then I'm like, oh, so he was really trying to kill me. I'm like, wait, I'm confused. Like, how was, how are you a fucking, a special force sergeant? And you are shooting through people's fucking houses and shit. Like, what the fuck is your problem, bro? Like, I was mad as fuck and I didn't see him when I first came in, right? So I could just go in the fucking apartment and they're just all telling me what really fucking happened. And I'm just like, um... Like, the front office is, like, apologizing and all these things. I'm just like, bitch, I should fucking move out. Y'all need to fucking put my fucking rent down because I almost got killed. So, at that point, I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? Like, every fucking apartment I go to, there's some bullshit. Like, everybody's just, like, fucking apologizing and all these things. I'm like, no, I want my rent down. I'm not playing with y'all. Y'all just almost had me killed. I just got kicked out of my other fucking apartment for throwing a fucking party. This man better fucking get kicked out. You think she it got kicked out? What y'all think? Y'all think he got kicked out? No. He didn't get kicked out. He came, apologized to me, and that was it. He was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I didn't know Um, um, I, it was loaded. And da -da -da. It was really kind of hard for me to believe that it, he didn't know it was fucking loaded. It had to be an inside job. The army was trying to kill me. I swear. At that point, I was just like, okay, I'm just not going to fuck with you, bro. Because you try to kill me for no damn reason. You try to take me out, bro. Like, what if I died? Who are you going to say sorry to? You feel me? It was like a bunch of shit that happened. It was just like that around that year, I felt like I was losing everything. That's when I lost my relationship. And... I lost my apartment. I didn't have a car anymore because I was driving his car and, and I had to give the car back and stuff like that. And I didn't have anything. Then I was just like, I'm going through so fucking much. It's like, when is it going to be over? You know, like I just got tired of it. Like, I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. I do not know how to do that shit. Like y'all be doing it. Y'all good though. I don't know how to do it. But... Um, it was just a lot. That year, like, taught me a lot. Like, I was going through so fucking much. But I came back because, <laughs> look at me. <laughs> fucking Soldier Boy talking about he had the fucking biggest comeback. Like, Soldier? Soldier Boy? No, I did, okay? <laughs> But um, I'm just going to put some lashes on and I don't know what this is, but I can't get it out because my nails are not letting me. But um, I'm just going to put some lashes on and finish this fucking video. I know I've been talking. It, this was like one, two stories in one fucking, uh, fucking video. Just to let y'all know, like when y'all go through shit, don't let it bring you down. You can always bounce back because... Y'all could always, you gotta be resilient, you gotta stay positive, you gotta pray. Like, I never thought me and my ex would, would get back together, but we are back together. Um, and we are really happy. We are learning from the mistakes that we both made. Um, but yeah, just don't give up, you feel me? Once you give up, you lost. Uh, so when Soulja Boy was talking, I kind of felt him. Like, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video because, you know, I was talking 
for the longest. I'm horrible at fucking talking. I have more crazy stories. Just let me know if you guys like this one. Um, and yeah, and I'll have um, more to tell y'all. Please watch, like, share. You feel me?